Hi everyone, this video will show you how to deploy Docker on Google Cloud Platform using Docker C for GCP. So I'm on my machine and I've got a project that I'd like to deploy. It's composed of a Docker file and this Docker file uh, describes multiple microservices that I want to start. Uh, it has a front end, a back end and MongoDB. Uh, it's very easy to deploy this application locally using Docker CLI and you can just do a stack deploy and all the services will be created and the application will be running in no time. Yeah, so I've got this application. This creates random sentences, but it's not really random until you scale it. So I'd like to scale it on Google Cloud Platform. How do I do that? So first step is to open the Google Cloud Shell and type the command that you will find in Docker for GCP documentation. This command basically creates a whole swarm with multiple workers, multiple nodes, for the managers and you can define the number, you can define the type of machines. This is what I did here. I've got three workers, no, three managers, ten workers. Okay, so it's gonna take between two and three minutes to scale the whole uh, swarm, so we're gonna fast forward. Okay, so everything is set up now. I can see the managers and workers and I can see the outputs from my command, like the external IP, a couple of useful comments to connect to my manager and to see all the nodes. Then I can click on the SSH button to SSH into the first manager and when my SSH keys are propagated and I get a, a terminal open on the first manager, I'm able to type docker commands. For example, I can type docker node ls to see all the nodes and I can see my three managers, one of them is the leader and I can see all the ten workers. I can also ask for the version of docker that is running and it's the latest version. Now back to my application. My application is on my local machine and I want to deploy it. I could do SSH tunnel, etc. It would be simple but still a bit complicated. What I'm going to show you is how to use Docker Cloud and Docker for Mac and combined together it can be very easy. So I'm going to go to Docker for Mac and say that I want to create a new swarm. In fact what I want to do is bring my own swarm, the one I just created. It tells me that there's only one comment type, so I'm going to type it in the first manager SSH uh, session. It will ask me for my Docker ID credentials because it's going to register the swarm. I can give it a name, gcp-demo, and when it's done, I've got positive feedback from Docker Cloud saying that my swarm is registered. I can close everything, no more SSH, no more tunnel, whatever. I just use Docker for Mac and click on GCP demo. It will open a terminal where all Docker comments will point to that swarm. See, that was easy. Now I just have to click and I'm one click away to my swarm. So I can list my files, my local files, I can see my compost file, I can use the exact same command that I use to deploy locally, which is docker stack deploy. It will now deploy it remotely. And how do I know that it's deployed? I can do a docker service ls to see all the services and see that they are starting one by one. It has to pull the images first. And when they are all up, I can uh, go to the external IP that was given to me when I, I typed the gcloud command and just open this website and it should be up and running. Yeah, another non-really random sentence. So let's scale the number of backends. With each backend will have a random number and at the end when I request for a random sentence, it will really be random. So I can scale up the number of backend to 20, for example. Let's see what uh, service ls gives me. And then when it's done, when I can see that uh, more backends are spawned on the swarm, I can refresh and see that I will get more and more random sentences. Yeah, this one is nice. Okay, so that's about it. I think you liked uh, Docker for GCP. If you want more, you can register to the private beta and you will be able to do exactly the same.